Geek Gretto. Hi there, we're back again at the 2013 San Diego Comic Con at the Robotech booth with Tommy Yoon. Tommy, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. That's and how are you? I'm ecstatic. All right. <laughs> Okay, you've been with Robotech for a little over a decade now. How has that been? Uh, it's been a lot of work. Uh, it's amazing how, uh, the amount of work th that we've done and the amount of work we still have to do. But the fans are still there. And it's really a privilege uh, working on Robotech uh, for the fans and an honor. Cool. So what exactly do you do over at Home and Gold? I function as the creative director on the series uh, in a way uh, prior to uh, my coming aboard, uh, the series was licensed out uh, more or less randomly to different companies. Uh, in my current role, uh, for much of the past decade, I've been managing the different licenses together into a cohesive whole so that the licenses all complement each other, especially with the storytelling and the content of their products. So, are you surprised that the momentum Robotech still has after its initial 25, 26 years? Uh, no, I, I've always believed in Robotech. Uh, I, uh, it is uh, a great lasting series uh, that uh, Carl Masick, the original producer, had created. And uh, we're greatly honored to keep it going. <laughs> so, when was your first experience at Robotech? Uh, 1985. Uh, I watched it towards the end of its original run, and I actually watched it backwards. I had seen uh, the new generation first, and then uh, when it, the last episode aired, I was wondering what was going to happen after the 85th episode, and there never was one. And it recycled back to the Macross saga, so I was reacquainted with those characters. And then I watched the whole series over again, and there still was no new episode. And it always kind of taunted me, in, you know, through college, high school, um, and I didn't expect that many years later I would have an opportunity to have a crack at working on new stories, uh, you know, after that 85th episode. And <laughs> since then we've had uh, uh, two uh, titles come out. One is uh, Robotech the Shadow Chronicles, the other one being Love Live Alive. Okay, so of course Shadow Chronicles has been out for a while now and Love Live Alive is... About to come out next week come on out the 23rd, July right. 23rd. How's your opinion on it? I'm sorry? What's your opinion on it? Uh, it was a very interesting um, process. This is not a completely new story. There was an OVA in Japan called Mosquito Love Live Live. Mosquito, which made up the new generation component of the Robotech series. However, for some reason or another, it was never licensed. It was never adapted into Robotech, and it was a no-brainer. However, when we were reviewing the content, we found that uh, it was mostly composed of music videos with flashback sequences, but not really much in terms of storytelling. So we decided to, uh, Carl's uh, recommendation to us uh, back in 2010 was to re-edit it a la Dana Story style and uh, give it a story, a uh, flashback story structure more akin to the Forest Gump, in which the main character is talking about his experiences. And uh, so that you see familiar scenes, but it's presented in a new way, and so you find out something new about the main character, who is this time Lancer. In the original New Generation run, uh, the point of the, uh, the story unfolded from the point of view of Scott Bernard, the last survivor of the 21st Mars adventure. Here, we've uh, taken uh, the storytelling structure, and now you're seeing it from the point of view of Lancer, of uh, the 10th Mars Division, who was actually on Earth before Scott. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with that said, you think the fans will like it? I do. I, for fans who love the classic series, who want a 1980s throwback, this is, this is it. Uh, because it's got lots of classic animation, animation from the 80s that they've never seen in a Robotech context before, and also new animation that we added to it, but we made it in a way that it was uh, cohesive as possible to the 80s style. That's awesome. And once again, this comes out next week, which is great. Well, I have yes. one more question. Yes. Favorite Robotech character? Favorite Robotech character? Oh, Ram, because he's the crackpot. <laughs> Okay, then favorite vehicle. Favorite vehicle? Oh, mm. favorite. oh, 
the Beta Fighter because it was the Bruiser. It's a good choice. Yeah. Personally, here I'm more of a Cyclone guy. Ah, all right. Okay, well, thanks a lot. All right. Thanks for your time. Enjoy the rest of the con. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you.